Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. And thank you so much for stopping by. Gunshot, head as Hausa, Yoruba youth clash in Lagos. What began as a minor clash between Hausa motorcyclists and members of the National Union of Road transport workers in a Yanegba area of Ojo, Lagos, quickly degenerated into a tribal clash earlier Monday morning as Hausa and Yoruba youth confronted themselves wielding dangerous weapons. The fracas, according to eyewitness, began when Hausa motorcyclists gathered themselves to protest constant harassment by the road union members after an Hausa motorcyclist was allegedly beaten and stabbed to death. The fight, which began with exchange of stones between members of the union and the motorcyclist, soon degenerated into a full-blown crisis as sporadic gunshots were heard at the scene. Shout of Ino Konsainuna was backed at passerby as supposed members of the road union tried explaining to whoever cared to listen that the fight was between us and Aboki them. As at the time of filing this report, the Vanguard reporter who was caught up in the scene of the clash revealed that more Hausa youth were seen rushing towards the Vox area of the road, purportedly from the nearby Alagbarago, where one can find them resident in their numbers. All right, and uh, that is it for you all. It is a pity. This is the next level and the continuity, your president, the so-called Muhammad Buhari, if there is anything like that in Nigeria, was talking about. You see, violence everywhere. The so-called leaders, they have succeeded in setting the people against themselves and they are in their comfort zone watching the people as they kill themselves. Someone here says, how long shall we be fighting ourselves? We are all human and one family. Please, let us live together as brothers. Let's stop fighting and killing one another. Jehovah God, the Most High, our Creator, is not happy with the way we are killing ourselves. Please allow peace to reign among us, for it has no meaning fighting killing and destroying property may he give us the spirit to live together as one and love one another i really acknowledge your consign of love but the issue on ground is not the southwest i'm not shifting blames but locating the root it is the result of the northern elders that have failed to educate the youth or giving them wrong education we all are reaping the wickedness of the elders that have programmed this youth as their weapons for their selfishness. It was just a matter of time. These aboki are too stubborn and uncivilized. God will help us with what we are contending with in this Lagos. It's lack of education and experience history. Aboki is on Lagos now and nothing anybody will do about it. They have sold their land to abokis. Yoruba, if you people don't drive away these abokis from your transport section, you will be in trouble with them. They want to take over transport sector from the owners, shoot them and nothing will happen. Man dies but once. Most Yoruba boys want free money. Do Okada, they won't. Do Meshayi, they are too big. Buy and sell tomatoes, pepper, etc. They won't, but they always want to collect illegal <laughs> illegal wicked tasks from those doing their businesses they always want to eat from somebody's sweat you know see their reasoning can't you see the way they think are they the only one paying tasks are the yorubas not paying tasks also just see the way they are once they talk you will know them someone here says like seriously these house are people are taking over lagos they are full in Okada transport and dangerous as well. I just want God to save us because they can kill anybody without thinking twice. They are dreadful. I fear them all. I think they've banned Okada. I don't know. Every little, I think this person is trying to say every little thing, you begin to hear gunshot as if carrying of arms has been legalized. I wonder this country tire person. APC government of terrorists. Someone here says, what these abokis are doing in Lagos, no other tribe 
can try it with them in the north. Exactly. No other tribe. If you try it, <laughs> only God know. You go, they settle your case for heaven. The next person here says, not only in Lagos, but generally in Nigeria, but the fault is from our leaders. Father, please have mercy on our country. Hmm. The earlier you realize you no longer have a country, the better for you because Nigeria is no longer a country. Omo Odudua, we are saying we don't want war, but they are bringing it now, small, small. Ready now to carry your gun, everyone. We don't fight war, but protect yourself. Odudua Republic, please don't say my word is not relieved because I like Mr. Sunday. Iboho. Bo, this person's comment, I don't understand. I'm just trying. Anyways, let's move on. Funny enough, it is happening in front of my office. I am watching live fight. Bottles everywhere. Happening in front of your office and you are watching a live fight. I pity you. In a fight, they are using dangerous weapon as it's being reported. Don't you know stray bullets can do to where it was not intended? You better start covering yourself with the blood of Jesus and you go to church on Sunday to share testimony, even if you are fighting with God. Hashtag, let Nigeria break. Nigeria is going down gradually. That is what I am seeing. I feel... All right, guys, and uh, that is it for you all. This country has turned to something else. I've come to the end of this comment. Please, if you want to read more comment, you can go to Vanguard. The news is everywhere. Go to social media. you see a lot of comments and read as you like. Now, this country, Nigeria, has turned to something else. Nigeria is no longer a country, and you wonder why people are calling the country a zoo. Because even zoo is much more better than nigeria right now in a zoo you cannot just go there and kill any animal like that but in nigeria anybody can just kill anybody can just do anything they like without being questioned but funny enough this this thing here only works for the northerners once it is coming from the northerners the government will not bother they will not care they will not do anything but let someone from the south do the same thing before you know, you will find yourself in custody. And that is why a lot of people are crying that they want a country that works for all, not a country that works for only the Northerners or only the Southerners. What is good for the Northerners is also good for the Southerners. And if you know you cannot meet up to this demand, then let the people go. It is as simple as that. And that is it for you all. Please let me know what you think and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to share this video, like and subscribe and remain blessed until I come your way next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.